Section 4.1, Objective 4, Interactive Assignment. Okay, here it says a pediatrician wants to determine the relation that may exist between a child's height and a head circumference. She randomly selects eight children, measures their height and head circumference, and obtains the data shown in a table. For Part D, it says determine if a linear relation exists between height and head circumference. Note that the linear correlation coefficient between a height and a head circumference of a child is r which is equal to 0 0.907. So if this is the linear correlation coefficient of 0 0.907, okay, if the absolute value of the correlation coefficient is greater than the critical value for a correlation for the given sample size, then a linear relation exists between the two variables. Otherwise, no relation exists. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to find the critical value. Okay, so going back to this question, in order to find the critical value, we need to look at what is the sample size. Well, if you look at the sample size, it's in the question. It tells you that she randomly selects eight children. So in order to find the critical value, down below here, we're going to click here to see the table of the critical values. Okay, and then we're going to go down to where n is equal to 8. Okay, so where you see n is equal to 8, the number right next to it is the critical value, which is 0 0.707. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there, 0 0.707, and then check our answer. Okay, so now that we have the critical value, we also know that the linear correlation coefficient is 0 0.907. So let's go ahead and put this information in here. All right. We know that the sample size, again, was n is equal to 8. All right, so we figured that out. And that gave us a critical value, right? So we know that the linear correlation coefficient was given in the problem. And that was R, which is equal to, let's verify that again, 0 0.907. So 0 0.907. And then we also know that the critical value, CV, was equal to 0 0.707. Okay, so now what we have to do is you have to compare these two. So that means we have to take the absolute value of 0 0.907, and then we're going to compare that to the critical value of 0 0.707. So if we take the absolute value of 0 0.907, we get 0 0.907 positive, and we get 0 0.707. This means that the linear correlation coefficient is greater than the critical value. So remember that if the absolute value of a correlation coefficient is greater than the critical value, which this is, then a linear relation exists between the two variables. Otherwise, no relation exists. Well, this tells us that a linear relationship exists. So a linear relation exists. So now let's go back and answer our question. Okay, so our question says what? Does a linear relation exist between height and head circumference? Well, we know that we can eliminate the nose. We can say, yes, there appears to be a positive linear association because R is positive and R is greater than a critical value. The other one says, yes, there appears to be a positive linear association because R is positive and is less than the critical value. That's not true because it has to be greater than. And there appears to be a negative linear association. Well, this is R is equal to 0 0.907, which is close to positive 1, which means it's a positive linear association. And we also know that R is greater than that. So we're going to select A, and therefore there is our answer.